Do we have a question from the brothers? Mike at the back, non-Muslim brother. Hello, hello. Good evening. This is Sunny from China. Um, my question is about the positioning of women in uh, Islam. I'm just wondering, um, why does it happen that men can marry a few women? Well, it doesn't work on women. Um, why is it considered to be immoral or not appropriate for women to marry a few men? Thank you. The brother asked the question: In Islam, a man can have more than one wife. But why can't a woman have more than one husband? Yeah, they, yeah. Why is polygyny allowed in Islam, but polyandry not allowed? That's the correct word. Polygyny means a man having more than one spouse. Polyandry means woman having more than one husband. As far as why in Islam a man allowed to have more than one wife, let me tell you, Quran is the only religious book on the face of the earth which says marry only one. If you read any other religious book. Besides the Quran, no religious book says marry only one. You read the Bible, you read the Vedas, you read the Ramayana, you read the Mahabharata. No religious scripture says marry only one, except the Quran. If you read Ramayana, Sri Ram's father, King Dashrath, he had more than one wife. If you read Mahabharata, Sri Krishna, how many wives he had? Four, ten, hundred, thousand, sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. So if Krishna can have sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives, so why can't Muslims have maximum four? When you read the Old Testament, the Jewish scriptures, Abraham, according to the Bible, peace be upon him, had three wives. Solomon had seven hundred wives. According to the Hindu scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. According to the Jewish scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. According to the Christian scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. It is the rabbi who has said that Jews should marry only one. Rabbi Goldstein Jam Yehuda, he passed a sign out that Jews should marry only one. According to Christianity, according to the Bible, you can marry as many as you wish. It is the church which has put a restriction that Christians should marry only one. Same way in the Hindu scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. It is the Indian Penal Code. There is a law passed in 1954 that the Hindu should marry only one in a Hindu Special Marriage Act. So, according to the Hindu scriptures, other religious scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. Let's try and analyze what does Quran say. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three: "Marry woman of her choice." In twos, threes, or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. This statement, "marry only one," is only given in the Quran and no other religious scripture. Let us analyze the logical reasons why Islam permits certain men to have more than one wife. By nature, male and female are born in equal proportion. But as life goes on, you ask any pediatrician, he will tell you that the female child. Is medically a stronger sex as compared to male child. That is the reason you find more male children dying as compared to females. So in pediatric age itself, there are more females as compared to males. As life goes on, there are death due to wars, due to accidents, due to alcohol. There are more males dying as compared to females. As life goes on, there are more death due to wars. Due to accidents, due to alcoholism, more males are dying as compared to females. Today in the world, there are more females as compared to males. Only in certain countries like India and certain other countries, the female population is less than the male population because of female feticide and female infanticide. In India alone, every day more than 3,000 fetuses are being killed because they are female. If you multiply by 365, you get a total of more than a million fetuses are being aborted after the antifat the females. And according to the Tamil Nadu government hospital report, out of 10 females born alive, four are put to death. If you stop this evil practice of female feticide and female infanticide, even in India, the female population will outnumber the male population. If you do a statistic survey today. Most of the countries have got more females as compared to male. In USA alone, there are 4.6 million females more than males. In UK alone, there are 1.6 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 10.3 million females more than males. And God alone knows how many females are more than males throughout the world. Suppose my sister happens to live in America, in USA, 
and the market is saturated. Every man has found a wife for himself. Yet there will be 4.6 million females who will not find life partners. Or suppose your sister happens to live in America, in USA, and the market is saturated. Every man has found a woman for himself. Yet there will be 4.6 million females who will not find life partner. And suppose your sister or my sister happens to be amongst those 4.6 million females who have not found life partners. The only option for her is she either marries a man who already has a wife or becomes public property. You say public property, such a harsh word. It is the most sophisticated word I can think of. There is no other option. And any woman would prefer marrying a man who already has a wife than becoming public property. So today, there are more females in the world as compared to males. And that's the reason Islam has allowed men to have more than one wife to protect the modesty of the woman. I do agree that no woman would normally like to share the husband. It is human nature. But in Islam, the Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. A good Muslima would not mind sharing a husband to prevent the other woman from becoming public property. Now coming to your second question. If Islam allows a man to have more than one wife, then why doesn't Islam allow a woman to have more than one husband? If women are allowed to have more than one husband, then this problem will multiply more. Point number one. Point number two, if a man who has multiple wives, if the child is born, you can identify who is the mother, who is the father. But if a woman has more than one husband, and if a child is born, you can identify the mother, but you won't be able to identify the father. So if you go to admit your child in school, and if they ask you what is the name of the father, you may have to give two names. Today there is DNA testing, you can come to know who the father and who the mother, but that recently, previously did not have. But there are many other reasons why a woman cannot have more than one husband. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 24, that a woman who is married should not marry again. Furthermore, today science tells us that there are various psychological changes a woman undergoes during a menstrual cycle. And it's difficult for her to do the role of multiple wives, which is possible for a man to do the role of multiple husbands. Furthermore, today science tells us that if a man has multiple sexual partners and all are loyal to each other, there is no medical problem. But if a woman has multiple sexual partners, even if all are loyal, there are chances of sexually transmitted diseases, STD and VD emerging. So that's the reason this sexual transmitted disease will emerge if a woman has multiple sexual partners and it can be transmitted back to the husband. That's the reason in Islam, a man is allowed to have more than one wife, but the woman is not allowed to have more than one husband. Thank you. Brother is asking a question that who was born better? Mukaddis Paidaish means who was born more pure? He is a Christian. He is asking a question trying to lead me. And this Christian missionary normally do. 